Welcome to the Mark Jackson Show. Sit back and relax. We got a special guest today. It's my uncle, man. I love him. Legendary two-time NBA champion turned broadcaster. He even has a book out called Talk of Champions. I know y'all ready for this one, man. The legendary Kenny Smith, man. Give it up, man. Let's make yeah, some noise. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing like it, man. I'm great. I'm just trying to figure out why Mark Jackson's not starting off the Mark Jackson how, show. My name is my birth name. Dude's comfortable now, man. You know how it is. My birth name Mark, too. But I, I do have a bone to pick. Uh-oh. Oh, man. I, I'm, off, I'm man. coming here. I told him when I come in, this is going to be a place of truth. What's up? It's going to be like Cat Williams. <laughs> we, got no, we got you the drink. Get, no, first of all, no, this is dead. It's an energy drink. It's an energy drink. Get it off your chest. You're good. You're good. <laughs> first of all, he calls me up, Blue. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. He's like, yo, I got an idea. I'm like, what's your idea? Me and you do a podcast. <laughs> How's right. it feel to be me Wait, right now? That? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, he's right. He's right. He, he, then all of a sudden, I'm, I'm watching on the internet. They're giving out bags of money to this wow. dude. And he don't call me. I didn't even know that's part of the story. Uh, the, it was supposed to be Queens uh, get the money. Uh, what the, that was the name of it. <laughs> I gave him the Queens get the... Yo, Cam, where's, Cam, where's my camera? Cam and May send me the bag. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> this was supposed to be me. No, nah, you still, you I still here. yes. <laughs> no, he's... Yeah. Fam, blood over... Yeah, listen. Blood over water, I guess. He cut me out. No, I wish I, wish I could say he was lying. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was sitting at home. I was going through, the, you know, just going through the phone. The Mark Jackson show. Lou. Oh, 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 he got me. The good news is we, we can always turn this into a three-man booth. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We can always turn it into a three-man booth. Hey, when they come with me with that bag, I told them. <laughs> they yeah, ever came with this bag. For, rule number one, Queens get the money. You take it. Yeah. yeah. Then you ask for more. Yeah. You don't just, That's, nah, nah, I don't know where he from. This, yeah. you, you, text me, like, you didn't take the bag, dummy? <laughs> what are you doing? You take it, then you, they got you and you got them on the hook. Yeah. Nah, I live, I'll give you my address, Cam, Mace, show up my house. You here right now. We here, here though. I'm here. Man. We here. That's it all come okay. back full circle. Yeah, and then the second thing, I walk in. Is another thing? Yeah, it's two. I didn't realize the second one was going to come. I walk in and I see a trophy that could have been mine. Wow. I was like second running. Yeah, I was second. Yeah. This dude over here, oh my God, I got hurt down. I'm like, in the no. Knicks, I should have had Patrick. Oh, you got you got hurt down the stretch. We don't need That's to hear all that. We don't what need you to mean? Get it off your to, chest. No, see how he's something he through that. I got it's, hurt at that. Yeah. Dude, I got the trophy, I didn't, play, I didn't play the last 15 No, we don't need to hear all that. Nah, I, I need to hear that. That's It would have been a closer vote. However, my center was... Uh, what's his name? Ben, uh, ben Guillory. Mm-hmm. His center was Patrick Ewing. <laughs> so no disrespect to Ben Guillory. Why, why, yeah. with the George yeah. why is Ben Guillory? They, they, both, with, they, they, both, they both went to Georgetown. <laughs> but with, with there's two different levels of Georgetown. It's and he was a rookie. It's a difference. No, it's a different. He yeah. had a top 50 player all the time. But that's another story for another yeah. time. How y'all doing? <laughs> we doing good. We doing good. I, 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 I got some things I want to air off my chest. <laughs> get it off. Um, get it off. First of all, if you text him or call him, whatever, you never know. What, like talking about the show, he get back to me a week later. <laughs> Yesterday I text him. While we, we we were supposed to have this show with him a week ago. Yesterday I text him. Okay, send me the location and then what we settle on. So I'm like, I send the location. Then I say what we settle on? Question mark. Then he goes. Dollar sign. <laughs> so I said, I said yeah, if he get paid, why well, I'm not getting paid? Come on, man. What, what's the dollar sign? What's the what's the one of the check from his own boy? We family, man. No, no, no man. family. I feel that, Katie. What's, no, what's the dollar sign? Listen, so so we would, listen, Blue, when we used to, he called me, I got an appearance, I'm going to do, a, I'm speaking at a camp. I'd be like, well, we settled one. Yeah. Like, oh, I'll come too. Yeah, you Like, we out. both get it. Yeah. Now it's, now it's, it's you new. got the check, he it's got new. the check. It's new. I watch y'all get the check. There was no settling <laughs> when I went to Kenny Smith's basketball camp at North Carolina University. There's no settling when I go to Aim High to speak to your incredible youth. Yeah, but your kids went to the camp free. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why you went there. That, 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 that was the trade. I got some good memories. You I got some good memories. That was the trade. That was the trade. They come free. You come speak. All right. Checks in the mail, man. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you, man. Thank you, man. But it's been, you know, I've been watching. I'm happy for this. This is good. This yeah. is good. A different, different dynamic. But, you know, I think he should do the interview. Because 
I know the stories to tell. I, I feel that. I feel uh, every, but see, y'all can't see behind. The whole family's here. Mm-hmm. This is a family affair. There's love in the room. It's feeling see, good. I knew, I knew everybody before there was a family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is true. This is, there was this no is true. family. <laughs> yo, 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 yeah, yeah, come on, come about. on. This is what we're doing. Give me that drink. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> give me that energy drink. Man, listen, man, listen. The family wasn't Talk thought about. about. My family wasn't thought about. We were just trying to get to the next day. So yeah, yeah, now we could do a twenty-four hour day on what that was like. We we we're, we're thinking about Why are you it. stuttering. No, <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <Why> nervous. <laughs> you stuttering? Uh, Let's give a day of twenty-four hours. This is first year NBA summer. Uh huh. Twenty-four hours. Boom. This is you know this, this no cell phones. This is the rotary. So mm-hmm. you call. Hello, man. Speak to Mark. Mark ain't up yet. Who's this? <laughs> like. How you doing, Miss Jackson? <laughs> Why you got a man's voice for my mom, man? You gonna change the voice for my mom, man? Right. Who this? <laughs> she wasn't ratchet, though. She wasn't ratchet. Oh, so it's not ratchet. But she's like, who this? I'm like, Miss Jackson, it's Kenny. Kenny who? Miss Jackson. Kenny Smith. <laughs> she knows it's me. I done played against this dude since middle school. She knows it's me, but she's messing with me. So I'm like, I just, okay, when he wakes up, can you uh, tell me, tell him to give me a call? I think about it. Boom. That's the, that was the <laughs> first call. On you. So now we're like 30, 40 minutes late. I call back. Is Mark there? Oh, I forgot to tell him. Mark, come get the phone. Right? So now I'm like, hey, where are we going to work out? Mm-hmm. So then we go work out. We're going to meet at blah, blah, blah. We're going to work out. We're going to hoop. Boom, boom, boom. We hooped all day. Go back, get something to eat. He might go lift somewhere. I might go lift somewhere. Then the next call, 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> Dave Snowden, who y'all had on this show, myself, Mark, we on a three-way. Where are we going tonight? Favorite spot in New York City? Bentley's. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to meet at Bentley's, and we're going to meet there at 10 o'clock, yeah. 11 o'clock. We get there 11. We stay from 11 to 2. Am I, am I lying? No, I didn't, I didn't say anything. Okay. Just, it was rocking, 11 it was to 2 in Bentley's. It was rocking? It was rocking. Yeah. Now, nah, but however... On the ride there or around the, on the ride there or back home, we always pick up people. So some of them could be friends of ours that played or whatever, but they always thought that they were better than us. That's, a, that's <laughs> the testimony. So everybody who in our neighborhoods thought they were really better. They, they should have been the ones. Yeah. So we're in a, we, he would always rent a limo. Oh my goodness. These God. are the stories that I need. Because he was trying to act like he wasn't, at, wasn't the man. He oh was no, no, he was renting a limo. Thank you. Because right, he right. had a whack car. That's another thing. <laughs> so he would rent a limo. Be in a limo. Everybody's arguing about who's better. All right, let's stop. Let's go play. It don't matter what time it is. We yeah. go gym, out to park, go shoot, whatever it is. Boom, boom, boom. Then that's the three, four in the morning. Next day, hey, Ms. Jackson, I speak to you. <laughs> And the same thing. Like, who's this? Kenny who? And that would be the that would be the routine all summer. That is hilarious. All summer. Now let me let me ask you, both of y'all growing up around each other, when was starting off with you, when was the first time that you heard rumors of Mark Jackson, another Seventh guard grade. in the city? Seventh grade. Seventh grade? But it wasn't one of like it wasn't like we were the best two in the city. We were yeah. just the best two in our neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. Like am I would you agree with yeah, that? Yeah, that's right. So, I, I believe we were the best too, though. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't think I was the best in the city because I was like, I knew I was like the best in the left rack city, mm-hmm. like area. Then he was in St. Albans. He was playing for St. Pascal's, right? Mm-hmm. St. Pascal's. So I was like, I was playing for Our Lady of Angeles. Did you go to St. Pascal's? No. I didn't go to like, Our Lady of Angeles. We mm-hmm. got a waiver. Mm-hmm. So like each Catholic school could have one kid that didn't go there and play. So they get the best kid in the neighborhood. Yeah. That was me. That was him. Yeah. And so I was in the gym. And I like seventh grade, I, I killed. I had like, you know, back then killing was like 18. Yeah, yeah. You know, we were, we were scoring 40 points. Mm-hmm. I got like 18. They're like, oh, that Smith kid's good, but Jackson plays next. I'm like, Jackson? <laughs> I'm like, Jackson who? <laughs> it's like, Mark Jackson. I'm like, Mark Jackson? They call him Action Jackson. <laughs> I was they, like, they was calling you Action, Action Jackson in Jackson. the seventh grade? I told you that, man. Wow. That's, that's big. That was the first time I went, and I waited. Because we played at like 2 o'clock, and he was playing at 5. I waited to see him play. Wow. And that was the first time, 7th grade. What what you feel when you saw him play? What'd I'm you, giving what? it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I blew out. I'm giving it to him. I'm giving it to him. Yeah, but yeah. no, because you know why I said that? Yeah. Because I was like, he passed all the time. Mm-hmm. He just was like, 
He's you know, making plays. Hey, you know, he was yeah. passing so much. Yeah. Well, I was like, we used to have this debate. I used to say, if you can have, oh, we're going to get asked some of the questions now. If you can have a game, you can have 40 points and five assists. Or 20 points, no, 15 points and 20 assists. Which one? You, you know the answer, man. Which one are you taking? 15 and 20. I'm taking 40 and 5 <laughs> every you. day. I'm with you. Every I'm with day. you. <laughs> so, like, I couldn't wrap my head around a guy who didn't want to get 40. Yeah. That could get 40. Yeah. So I was like, no, nah, I'll be all right. But, yeah. as we see, he turned out to be what it is. But that was seventh grade. St. Yeah. Pascal's the first time I saw him play. But I remember the similar time, and example would be I play five put in work, and you hear the chatter in the stands, he's not Kenny, because Kenny does X, Y, Z. And Kenny was explosive, could shoot, which was unheard of for a New York City point guard, a New York City player, period. Could shoot, could jump out the gym, uh, understood the game, was far superior at that age than, than most kids, and just had a swag about him and a bounce about him. What, what was it called? Uh, shoot pass? Pepsi, hop, Pepsi Hot Shot. I was at a Pepsi Hot Shot comp. That's where I learned to shoot. Because mm -hmm. it was a competition that you would shoot five spots and you get one minute. And if you win, you would, you would get to shoot at high schools. I was like, man, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Then if you won the high schools, you got to shoot at colleges. The contest would go to college. Then if you won the colleges, you got to shoot at the NBA arena. So mm -hmm. they, I flew to San Antonio, Boston, and shot at halftime on NBC. Oh, wow. So I was like, I'm gonna win this contest. Yeah, yeah. So all I did was do the shooting contest. I used to practice the shooting contest, mm -hmm. and it made me a better shooter. Yeah. Just by doing it was one minute, and I would do like 20 rounds of it every day, and do just shoot from five spots. You got to sprint, can't walk, can't dribble. You can't you can't do any any uh, yeah. turnovers, whatever. You got and get to the spot and shoot. Get to the spot and shoot. And that's how I learned to shoot. Just trying to be in a contest to win, the, so I can get to the Boston Garden. I shot at the Boston Garden at halftime with the Celtics versus the Knicks. And then halftime of the San Antonio Spurs versus the Lakers. Wow. And I was mad. <laughs> he, was, he was hating. I was, hating. He was, I was, I was only, I was only 11, 12 years old. I got yeah. eliminated yeah. early in the round. <laughs> she was in that contest. I didn't stand a chance. <laughs> 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 for, for five minutes. Oh, oh my God. Even though he was in the contest. Yeah, I tried. Oh, my God. But that was it. That's yeah. how I learned to shoot. Yeah. And then, you know, my shooting. But I was always more athletic. So I still, in my mind, always use my athleticism until I got older. But I learned how to shoot from that contest. Mm. Yeah. But you talk about, you go back go back a minute because you talked about my, my limo, but you didn't mention my 1976 Red Nova that I drove. I thought it was gold. Oh, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't red. gold. It Don't was do red. That. Don't do that. No, my roommate had a gold Nova. You had the Red Nova. Did you have a did Dave y'all talk to Dave about the Bentley story? No, we didn't. No. We didn't you didn't talk to Dave about the Bentley story? No, nah, what's the Bentley story? You got it. First time I hit. <laughs> Bentley's is a club, by the way. No, but the it, right, <clears throat> Bentley's. Oh, yeah. How do I put this? <laughs> this man that we that stands before us today is not mm -hmm. the same man he used to be. Okay. All, the time. all right. And I and I thank him for that testimony. <laughs> there we go. Because those <laughs> tests made him who he is. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can we get the keys? They give you the up. testimony. There we go. You know, so here we are. We in a he he would never park the car valet because yeah. it was what is 19 what? 76. It was like Nova. it was already 10 years old when we were there. Mm -hmm. It was old, big. Dents in it. So he's like, we park the car around the corner, mm -hmm. then we walk up. Because yeah. oh, he could goodness. just walk on the front line because he's, you know, he's Mark Jackson. Yeah. St. John's Knicks. But he's still riding this car as a Nick. <laughs> he don't have a car like that yet. Oh. Yeah. Until he bought that white Beamer. But anyway, so now, white Mercedes. But anyway, he comes in <laughs> and we like, he's going to park in the back. So he throws the keys to Dave. Dave, park in the back. So mm -hmm. park in the back. We walk up, we go in. So now, we coming out. We're like, listen, don't bring the car up front. <laughs> don't bring the car. The car's the gold Nova. Nothing wrong with Nova. Red, but man. Red Nova. Red Nova. See, like when you sit in it, the spring hits you. Yeah. Like, because the thing's coming out. The, you know, the windshield wiper don't really work. Yeah, yeah. You got you to gotta open the door from the outside. You got to roll the window down, open the door from the outside. It was crazy. Is car. this a fitting description? But it fit like listen. six people. It would always fit a lot of people with it because it was a big car. So yeah. we, stopped, we was like, yo, nobody else had cars. We good. So throw the key to Dave. He's like, meet it around. Just bring it around. Come, we walk out. We walk out the spot. The car is literally in front. <laughs> now, granted, this is this is still pre-paparazzi, but it's still kind of paparazzi. Yeah, yeah. Coming out, clashes, girls. <laughs> oh, Mark, Dave. Oh, 
So he's like, he's looking, he said, can you believe what he did? So he looks, the car had a flat. The car had a flat? In front of the club. <laughs> so now he's got a white shirt on. Like, he's got like a white shirt. Yeah. And he's got to change the tire oh, in the tire. front of the club <laughs> at two o'clock in the morning. So he looks at Dave, he goes, you smacked, smacked him. him. Smacked you smacked him. him. Oh. You smacked him. Why are you he saving this story? <laughs> Your uncle Dave. You smacked him for parking in our car. We were on it. Walter Berry, myself. It was a all of that New York legends. That is hilarious. Legends. But he is he's over there changing the tire in front of the club. That this is, is hilarious. before Triple A. So I was <laughs> I was out of cell phone then. I didn't even know he knew how to change the tire. That's crazy. Oh yeah, he did. Right Are oh, you finished, man? I didn't bring you here for that. <laughs> just like you know, we didn't have you here so for this. place of truth. What you, <laughs> you man has <laughs> not always been who he said he was. <laughs> or he is now, which we all have it. Yeah, all yeah. Not. He's better now. He's oh, better he now. Better now. <laughs> Are you finished? Could man? you imagine that? No, that's that's crazy. Like going, what's the hot club right now that man, people go to? I don't, I don't, I don't even that, know. I, I, the, I, the hottest club in LA. Yeah, yeah. You park your car, you Think, your boy think it's funny, yeah. And he put and it has a flat as he comes around in front of the club. And he and he the man. He got to walk outside and, and fix. No, it. imagine no. It's imagine Shea Gildress Alexander <laughs> changing a tire in front of a club. No, that's, that's crazy. What it was. That's what it was. That's crazy. That's what it was. It was the same thing. It would be like Shea Gildress Alexander today changing a club in front of a tire. What what was that conversation like getting in the car with Uncle Dave driving home? I was themed. I mean, <laughs> quite honest. <laughs> I was themed. The reason why. Shirt had grease all on it. He's on the he floor. He smelled like oil. He smelled like oil. Oh, these God. Dudes, these dudes in the front of the club dying like. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I'm dying like. I'm good. I ain't getting in that car after this. I'm going to figure it out. Oh, oh that is man. hilarious. We live and we learn. Yes, indeed, man. Those are the good old days. Yeah. More, that, more. <laughs> good old days. I didn't bring you in for this, man. No, this is the place of truth. <laughs> You know, a little I, bit more of my energy drink. Yeah, sip, man, sip. You know, I hear, I hear y'all talking about limos and and the beautiful studios and, and Bentleys, and we gotta shout out our sponsors. I totally forgot. Shout out to Underdog Fantasy. Click the link in the description below and use the promo code Mark. That's M A R K. And they, what are you doing? I'm not bad. Use the promo code Mark. That's M A R K, and they will match a deposit of up to one hundred dollars. Go click it right now, man. Anyways, back to back to what we were saying. Big money. I didn't know that you was living like this back then. In the 1976 Nova? Yeah, I didn't know that yeah, you was. Yeah, yeah. $1,500 my mom and dad paid for that car. <laughs> no, it was Arguably 15. the best car I had. Never had any issues other than that day. Flat tire. Flat tire. You started up in the winter. It, 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 it ran. It, I had no issues. But do you understand who your dad was? Yeah. What are you no, doing, no, no. man? This is no. a, this, we brought Kenny to Jet Smith no, over but I put, but he, we never get to kind of, I wrote a book, right? Mm -hmm. Talk of Champions. Yeah. And my kids are reading a the book. They go, I didn't know you played with Michael Jordan. <laughs> like, what do you mean you don't know? Yeah. You? Like, my daughters, like, they, like, they're like finding stuff out about me yeah. in the book. So I understand that, like, sometimes you live a life that your kids don't understand, like, what was going on through you. Yeah. I could. I was at the lens. I see from outside and inside what was going on. Yeah. But your dad was for New York City. Okay, how popular do you think Jalen Brunson is? In He's New York? very extremely popular. He the man in New York. Times that by five. Ooh. Imagine that. Yeah. Imagine being that popular. Yeah. In New York City. Yeah. That means you're popular in the world. Yeah. So like those two three years in New York, there was no one more. Patrick Ewan wasn't to me as more popular than. Like, I, I've seen them both walk in places, mm -hmm. and I've seen the, mo the room moves this way. Yeah. I was jealous. <laughs> so I was like, this could have been my show. <laughs> like, you can't even shoot like this me. Come on, man. <laughs> show me now. But it's, seriously, I've seen, seen the room move. Like, and I'm like, wow, how, how eight months where a guy who was like, wasn't sure where he was going to be drafted, it, he's more popular than Patrick Ewing in New York yeah. City and in, 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 in basketball. That was that was amazing. That was amazing to watch. Yeah, you know, from peanut butter sandwiches. But coming to the draft, that was a special day for both of us. We're in the same draft. He's drafted number seven by the Sacramento Kings, and he goes back six. To six. My, my I was bad. drafted six. He goes back six. six. <laughs> Get it right. He Get goes right. back, take pitches, gets on the phone, whatever. I'm still sitting out there waiting to be drafted. 
Kenny, childhood friend, comes back and sits beside me and waits until I get drafted, encouraging me, inspiring me, depositing words, supporting me, something I'll never forget. And when I finally got drafted, it was like they announced his name. Mm. The respect, the appreciation, the love that we had for each other, something I'll never forget. Man, I appreciate that. I, I was like, it was so crazy, Jack, because like, I was sitting, when you get drafted, like I was a six pick. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, oh, that's fast. That took 50 minutes. Because everybody gets like six to eight minutes yeah. before the next pick. They go to commercial break. So you sitting there for 50 minutes. You don't know where you're going. Like, he's 18. Yeah. So like, I'm out, and I, I, this is really what happened. I'm, I'm out there and they had all the media and all the, just like y'all got all the cameras there and I'm doing interviews. Mm. And out of the corner, they had the TV that was playing the draft and I looked and he was sitting by himself. Yeah. And I said, man, that would, must be great. Cause I was nervous being six. I was like, and it was like at 12 then. I was like, dang, and I could see it. And I'm like, damn, it's gonna be his worst day. It's supposed to be his death. I said, yo, I gotta go. And they're like, what? And I walked out. And <clears throat> now at that point, me and your dad were cool, but we weren't close. Mm -hmm. We were just cool. He from New York, I'm from New York. We play against each other. We were cool, but we wasn't close. That was the day that made us closer. Mm. Because I said, I, I just saw it, and, that, and my instinct was just like, yo, man, that would be whack. So I yeah. went out, and I sat next to him, right? He's like, so you're going to be good, bro. You're going to be good. Yeah. So now 13 go, 14, 15. And you don't even know. I think I told, I told you this. So when 17 comes, I know the Knicks is eight. I go like this, and I start praying. Yeah. I was like, please don't let him go to 17. <laughs> I said, let him go 18, Lord. Mm -hmm. Please let him go 18. Yeah. Let him go to New York. So that's why I was so happy, because I was like, oh, I jump up, I, like I yeah, high five, yeah, and then yeah. he goes up, and I was like, oh, now what do I do? <laughs> He's like, what do I do? So that was the yeah. moment, because I was like, I would love, like, if it was me, I was like, I would want to go to New York. Yeah. I wouldn't want to go to, I don't even remember who was 17, but I wouldn't want to go there. I would rather go to a New York dude going mm -hmm. to the Knicks. It's like, oh, that was it. And so it happened. And then I just jumped up. That's what I was like, oh, and we high five. Yeah, and yeah. then he went up. But it was just me and him sitting there. He was like, it was like one other person after him that was still left in the draft. What was your, what was your thought process sitting there and seeing the picks go by? He knows. They promise you if you're on the board, we're going to take you. Yeah. Team's way before 18. So I'm sitting there with a swag on 10, understanding even like not sixth, but seventh was Cleveland Cavaliers who had the seventh pick took Kevin Johnson, who at that time we didn't really know who he Never was. Never heard of him. Yeah. Never heard of him. So he, Kyle, Kyle wasn't winning games. Mm -hmm. He was playing well, but they, the team wasn't winning. Yeah. So we like, why do we know him? So that was, that was the whole thing. So sitting there nervous and not wanting to go once it got close to 18, Wanting to play for my hometown team, being a dream. It's just like, and then then you think, okay, well, they're at 18, but I've seen them historically make mistakes. So I might not be the pick. So it was nervous, but it was tremendous support and love from this guy. And I like the way Sully throws in there. I was waiting for an hour and a half, two hours. <laughs> yo, as, he's, yo, you <laughs> as he's sitting there with an energy drink in the background. Yo, no, no, it was crazy because, Jack, I really had no plan on doing that. And it just, there was a TV on the side, like, you know, just like a feed. Yeah. And I just glanced. I didn't even, and it happened to glance at the time they showed you. Because they, if I didn't glance five seconds later, they were back to the announcers. Yeah, but I yeah. just glanced at the right time, the right moment, and saw it. And I was like, I got to go out there. Man. I can't that's... let somebody sit there like that. That's crazy. That's love, though. And it turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to him. Yeah. You know? That's love. That's the beginning of a brotherhood. Yeah, for real. 100%. Yeah. I'll tell you a story, though, that I never shared with him. And I, growing up, I never wore uh, wristbands and never got my wrist taped anything. So watching Kenny in college and watching him in high school could shoot, could jump out the gym. He'd take off inside the foul line, pump it, dunk with two hands, slap the backboard. And like, what is this dude doing? So I'm in, I'm in college. I'm like, I'm watching him do it. I'm, and I watched him all this time. I'm like, I got it. I got it. I could dunk, but I couldn't dunk like that. Mm -hmm. So me dunking two hands was off two feet, getting underneath the rim, dunking two hands, right? <laughs> so I'm in college. I'm in, I'm in college, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to try the Kenny Smith dunk. I go to dunk it with two hands. I get the dunk, but since it's my first time, I guess it's an art to landing. Oh, yeah, yeah 100%. <laughs> 100%. I dunk on the run with two hands, and then I'm like, oh, crap, I'm in midair. I brace my fall with both my wrists, 
From that day on, I wore tape on my wrist. <laughs> almost, almost broke. Almost so he, broke. Was, he was trying so hard to be the jet. He, I he tried so hard to be the jet. I almost broke both my wrists at the same time. So wore tape from that day forward in my entire career. That is crazy. <laughs> our, our connection was even always there because of the New York City, mm-hmm. Queens. So even like when I was with my first coach was, who drafted me in the NBA was Bill Russell mm-hmm. and Willis Reed. And they used to go... We want you to watch some of the point guards in the league to, you know, make sure you, you know, be a good and go and have a great career. They sent me a tape. He the first dude on the tape. I turned the tape off. I was like, I gotta see this dude. More. I was like, they don't even know me. And I know this dude. He's the first dude on the tape as I put it. That's the VCS. That you put, put it in. You press yeah. play. I got. Like, it's like. I see this <laughs> make a pass. And I was like, man, this is Mark Jackson. See this y'all again. got me watching Mark Jackson. Ooh, you just don't even know how y'all, how y'all hurting my feelings right now. You don't even know how you're hurting my feelings. I was like, yeah, right. That was a, so I, We were always connected in strange ways. And then uh, I had a guy, Michael Jackson, not the singer, mm-hmm. who played at Georgetown with Patrick Ewing. He was on Sacramento with me. He became one of my really good friends. So we used to always just go back and watch Nick games. Because we would play the early game because of the time zone. Then we go to a sports bar right after and watch Nick's because he's mm-hmm. watching Patrick. I watch. So I seen like his first 50 games. I saw every single one of them. Every single one. Wow. Like start to finish. Like every single one. Because yeah. it was a, nothing to do in Sacramento. Yeah. So we like go to a sports bar and we watch, we, after the game, we go watch the Nick games on WOR wow. TV. Because that was the only station that was like, had like a national cable. Mm-hmm. So you could still see Nick games. We yeah. actually played against each other in the playoffs. That's the what I was about Houston to ask. Team. The great Houston team were playing against each other in the playoffs. <laughs> I'm playing for the Los Angeles Clippers at the time. <laughs> so it's a five-game series. I'm like, what's up, man? Good, good, to, good to see you. It's going to be a great one. We're going to have some fun. I'm, I'm, I'm basically softening him, him up, you know, to take away his tenacity in this, in this, in this uh, playoff series. Right. Mm-hmm. It worked. We get to game five, the deciding game five. Now, mm. we've been cool all along. This is Kenny. I've been having a good time dancing and jiggling and everything, yeah. right? Game five, jump ball. We win the tip. This dude picks me up full court. <laughs> what you going to do now? What you going to do now? I'm like, what the heck is this? No, no. I, I, I see, okay. What? What's the, he what's scores the, the first basket. He going to start jiggling. I'm like, <laughs> yo, what, what, what is this? Okay, so, okay. It was personal. It was, it was game five. I, it, listen, it was game five. But game one, two, three, four, both of them had decent games, you yeah. know, boom, boom, boom. So the game before game five, we in practice. Akeem, Vernon Maxwell is coming to the locker room. Now, Mad Max, he's not, he's called Mad Max for a reason. So he comes in, he's like, listen, man. <laughs> he's in Florida. Listen, what did he man. say? What did he say? Listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> then, and then uh, Akeem goes, wait, Vernon, let me handle it. He's like, no, 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 no. I got this dream. Listen, I know that's your boy, but this month go over here. I'm gonna tell you right now. Y'all running around here like y'all grew up together and hugging and kissing and all that and high fiving after each other. Listen, man, if we lose, we out the playoffs, man. If you don't go at him in this game, you gonna have to see us afterwards. I'm like, well, I'm gonna let you. Mean? First of all, you're not scaring me. Like, what are you talking about? No, then now this is what I got nervous. Dream goes. Yes, you will have to see us. <laughs> I was like, oh. Could dream never say nothing like that. So I was burning. That's burning. I deal with dudes like Vernon my whole yeah. life. Growing up in Left Rack, New York. Yeah. Like, that's burning. I've got a million of those. Yeah. I ain't got a million of kings. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I was like, I couldn't read the situation. So now I got mad. So now I'm like, oh man, they right. He been baiting me. So I started sticking all the confidence. I was like Kaiser Soze member. Remember, remember he said that? He really meant that. Oh, he meant, oh, he was soft with me. Yeah, so now I you. get mad. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm like, so get mad. So the game start, and I was like, we like, one, two, three. And we, you know, we coming out, and then Burns like, you good? I'm like, I got that. I got him. I got him. Don't worry about it. So I'm like, I'm, I'm, they got the battery in my back. Yeah, yeah. And so it was it, time. The battery helped. Yeah, yeah. I had one of a good game. We win the series, but I was extra. 
Yeah. I apologize. <laughs> no, it's too late. It's too, it's too late. It's, no, 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 I apologize. No, 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 no. See, my test is part of my testimony. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I apologize for my, my extra. I was super extra. So it, disrespectful. Yeah, I was disrespectful. <laughs> like, literally, he could have swung on me and he would have been right. Yeah. He would have, like, today I would have been like, yeah, he was right. I was extra. <laughs> my God. Saying yeah. stuff, just, you know, extra stuff, coming to the huddle after we score, looking back. <laughs> you know what I mean? We go, like, time out. I'm looking back at him the whole way as we walking. Like, yeah. I, I think I he extra. said I'd be a better host than Blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was extra. Those were, yeah, that was, that was different. That was different. I want to make sure, before we get to the pitches, the picture that we have, I want to make sure we show love. Because we come from similar type backgrounds. Your, your great mom, my great mom, both great dads, loyal, dedicated, classy, professional. And, and <laughs> what are you laughing at, man? <laughs> what, what, what the heck is that? <laughs> well, our moms are not always classy and professional. Let's you're right, you're right. They were not classy and professional. Let them live, okay, man. No, no, no. God bless them both. But they were not always classy. They were loud. They were, loud. Class they were, loud. They were so loud. So imagine high school. Your son is supposed to be this guy. Your son's supposed to be this guy. Yeah. Your, yeah. your grandma was loud. Always, always. So she sitting, I just, re, I don't remember the Lachlan game when we went to day school, but I guess because of the way our gym was set up, his mom would always, like we walk in, she sit in that first section. Y'all whole, the whole family was sitting right to the right. I still, cause we were cross. And then my mom would sit on the other side. <laughs> And she would be screaming <laughs> every time your yeah, mom did something. Yeah, that's right. That's my son. It was that's a battle. That's my son. <laughs> and so my mom was trying to like she tried to hold it in for a minute, but my mom got she got some in there too. So she be like, you know, she do all of them moments, and then she could take it. Yeah, and they just start going back and forth, and back and forth. We and every time I score, crazy. Then she score crazy. That they is score hilarious. Crazy. Yeah, it, it was. I can remember those things. Those are more vivid than NBA games. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, I remember those moments. I can remember plays and those that I can't remember in NBA games. I can remember your mom screaming, like his mom screaming, your grandma screaming mm -hmm. at me. I remember your dad being in there. Your dad was your dad was super quiet, though. Yeah, yep. Your dad was like... <laughs> because <laughs> he was just like, yo, oh, like, oh. He would just be like this the whole game. And I could see him go, wow. Yeah. Oh, it was she, crazy. She was doing that until, she was doing that when he was broadcasting. She no. comes to the games and yell. No, but let me say this. But even in the league, same way. Because they y'all had the Knicks tickets, I guess. I, I don't know. It's 19,000 seats. I always could find your mom. <laughs> now, how about that? I, you know, I, know, I know where she's sitting. But then your mom joined in with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, she was she was oh, with she it. She started joining in. See, I didn't notice. You giving me the this, oh, this, this is the good stuff. Your mom was out of control too. <laughs> no, she wasn't. Out of control. <laughs> out of control because she had a voice. Yeah. Oh, she was piercing through the crowd. Oh, oh my gosh, you <laughs> could hit this through Cat Williams. Oh no, no, man, it was crazy. <laughs> I used to be like, "What is the going Wait, on?" I didn't know about this. No, your mom was out of control. <laughs> your mom was out of control. <laughs> Screaming. Let's go! You could just pierce, and that voice, it would just pierce through the whole thing. And then your mom is screaming. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, it was, it was, those were fun times. Though. This dude, shots fired, man. No, but it, but it was because we did so much together. Even in the summer, we played on the same summer league team. Yeah. Won the championship. Pro league. So we've sat on the oh, same wow. pro league team. Yeah. And well, that's uh, a tough pro league team to run across. And so your mom, and my wife at the time, Dawn, they would always sit together. Mm -hmm. And your mom was still out of control at the summer. <laughs> out of control. What's wrong with this guy? She's out of control, man. She's was going crazy. Voice. I was a voice. Oh, man. No, I go. No. It was piercing. Because she had a beautiful singing voice, and I knew that based off of that. Yeah. It would pierce. Oh, you through. can tell? Oh, no question. No question. And she was super popular mm -hmm. at the time. Yeah. So it was like, they were Jay-Z. They oh, were Jay Z and Beyonce before Jay Z and Beyonce. I'm gonna keep it real. That's how y'all was moving around the they city. They were moving around the city like, like Jay Z. That? Am I lying? Yo, no, I'm not saying we weren't Jay Z and Beyonce. We ain't talking about. We not talking about billion dollars and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. But just we the, talking about movement around New York City. Did you move like Jay Z and Beyonce could move today? You know the guests are just supposed to ask questions. <laughs> no, that's a great question. I'm I, giving I, you and my seat right now. That's a great question. Did y'all move? 
around New York City. This is what we want to know. Like Jay Z and Beyonce could do today. I don't recall. You don't recall? What? The? I'm going to answer yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they they could move. Mm -hmm. You understand? Access. There's yeah. a between buying a there's a difference between buying a front row seat and having a locker room pass. Mm. You had and access everywhere. You had the locker room passes. Yeah. Those yeah. two had the locker room passes. Yeah. Because she was who she was. Yeah. He was who he was. And it wasn't many of us doing that. Like it wasn't like it wasn't no Beyonce's and Jay Z's. It wasn't like young people yeah. that were super successful that were together. Yeah. There wasn't. There was none of that. Ever. Like your mom was super successful in her right. He was super they were all and they were ascending at the same time. That had, that didn't exist. Yeah. That didn't exist. I'm glad that you're here to bring up these stories because he be that acting like it. he was just chilling his whole life. Oh no, I know. <laughs> No, they move. Then they we move. saw a picture of him by a payphone in they 1982 move. with the swag on a thousand. Oh no! I'm like, no, hold no, up, this no, ain't was, matching. This no, ain't no, matching. it was, it was, it was different. Like I used to be like, man, that's that's cool. Yeah, yeah it was cool. Okay, more important, Big, <laughs> bigger issues. How about let's take a look at this picture? Okay, and tell me what you think when you when you see it. That's when I see that. That's the generations passing it down. Mm. Like when you were going to um, Taft High School. Mm -hmm. we would talk like yo what's he doing boom boom yeah. boom and then he'd be like yo when you go to the game say something so I would just be like i just come and say like two minutes yeah. because we both saying the same thing but sometimes you need to hear it yeah. a different way yeah. from somebody different you know it's like take the A train and make a right and, you, and I, I'll say it as make sure you jump on the train yeah own the train yeah then make a right it's the same we saying the same thing mm -hmm. but so I would come in after the game, I just, to you, I don't even know if you remember this. Yeah, just light yeah, little of things, Light little things. So that's what I said to him. I said, yo, just come to the gym. See Malloy. He's working out. Just If you see something, just say it. Because he can't, he don't always register for me. Yeah, yeah. So that I just see the passing of generations. Like each one teach one. Yeah. Like that's what, there was a tournament that we used to play in the New York called Each One Teach One. And I always remember that. That's what we do. We each one teach one. And it's awesome. Great size, great athletic ability. A listener, you talk to him, looks in your eyes, and then you can tell right away going onto the court, making the proper adjustments. But the best times with him and Malloy that I have is getting calls at 11:30 in the middle of the night. <laughs> see Kenny's name come across my screen, and I'm like, okay, here it is. Hello, I got a question, <laughs> Malloy again. See, and so we have these debates. <laughs> yeah. And so I always call him to end the debate. So we'll be in these debates in the house because we're a basketball house, like y'all, mm -hmm. you know. Your sister works with the Portland Trailblazers. Yeah. Your brother played at Oaks Christian. You, yeah, like, yeah. everybody plays. So yeah. we just have these long debates. And then I'll just like, all right, hold on. <laughs> Who's a better player? Michael Jordan or mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, and we just go through it. And he's the end all because I know he's going to view it. And my, my, I don't know if you have these arguments with him. Oh, like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, no, yeah. the argument will be like this, though, Blue. Like, I'll be saying, him. he's like, no, because... This guy couldn't guard him, and he probably he was a better player. I'm like, Malloy, I was in that game. <laughs> like, I was actually in the game yeah. that you're arguing about with me. No, I was actually on the court. Like, and he doesn't want to let it go. Yeah. So then that's when I call him. Yeah. So it's always like the end of the debate. We, we've had those. We've had those before where he's had to call somebody else. I yeah. got. I got some hot takes. Yeah. And I, when, <laughs> like, and your brother, me and your brother usually argue about music. Oh really? Oh. Oh, y'all be going back and forth. Because he's a generational. <laughs> How do I put it? Shots fired. <laughs> so okay, his brother, his son, is 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 what we see today. It's the same thing with basketball. Like generation, generation, generationally, they've seen things today that they feel can't be topped. Yeah. But the difference between us is like we live that generation, but we also living in your generation, so yeah. we understand the context. So me and your brother, we argue about you know from. R&B music to Michael Jackson. That is hilarious. To, to rap music. And yeah. he's like, this guy's better than Jay and this guy's better than Rakim. And I'm like, do you realize he stole that style from Rakim? <laughs> you know, the reason his cadence is like that is because Rakim created that cadence. And, you know. He, he, he gets it, though, because I got to give him credit. He's a, he's a musical savant. He no, knows, he's an he historian. Knows the, he, knows, yeah, he knows the history. But he doesn't know why it was said. <laughs> You know what I'm I saying? I got to stand up for him because I got the okay. mic. He knows. He knows. No, I got to stand up for my brother. Why, no. He knows. It's a difference when 
when someone said like when and when when Nas, if Nas says like I had to, I had to go on fifty uh, on fifty third and watch my back. That means something different to me. Okay, I get what you're saying. We've I been on 53rd saying. Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We watching how I'm back. That makes sense. Because, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We understand nah, I got, that. I got what you're saying. That, how that feeling was. Yeah, yeah. Like, about, so that yeah. lyric means way more to us. Yeah. And so we like, oh, so in our mind, we like, oh, he related it to 53rd <laughs> Street. And then yeah, yeah. he's like, 53rd and watching back, that's hot, but yeah. it ain't. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah, no, nah, I feel that. I feel that. We'll That's... close part one of this interview with this. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but Kenny the Jet Smith and I had a rap song that we Ooh. did together. For real? You didn't know this? No. Nah. You never told nah, me. No, what? No. Nah. You know, oh, nah, yeah, we got to, we got to, yeah, we got to save that for part two. You never, no, 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 no. Oh, you want to go into no, it right now? No, we don't want to go into it. We're just telling you that we got, no, we, we had a rap song. Y'all want to spit? No, listen, I, I went to Interscope Records. Uh-huh. Uh, was it Interscope? No, I can't remember if it was Interscope or whatever. So I went to a lady named Cassandra Mills, and I said, I want to do an album with NBA players, mm -hmm. rappers. She's like, here's the budget. Go do it. Yeah. So you get the budget. I'm like, yo. So I had myself, him. So it was a New York tribute. Me, yeah. Stephon Marbury. That's hard. And Kenny Anderson? It's Kenny. Malik no, Sealy. Kenny. And Malik, Malik Sealy. Sealy. Yeah. So Kenny couldn't do it. So we had Malik Sealy, bless the dead. Yeah, rest in peace. And we had, it was the four of us on a song. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's hard. And then and then we had Rick Carlisle. We he did, spit too? No, he didn't spit. Oh, he did his own say. song. He <laughs> wanted to play the piano. Okay, okay. So we had Rick doing the whole thing. So we oh, all, all crazy. I had like NBA dudes doing it all. Yeah. And then they were going to release it, let's say in October. Mm -hmm. Cassandra Mills got fired in June. Oh. So it never got released. Let me ask the whole you. Album. I was who, fired. Who had, who, no, we both, fired. We, both, we both were fired. <laughs> who who, who, who had the best verse? Was who had the best verse? Huh? You were good. I wasn't fired. Who? You were good. <laughs> I was fired. It's K. Smith. Like, I could have got it. Uh, he still remember my lyrics. He still remember my lyrics. remember his lyrics? No, no. He, he remember my lyrics. He's about to say it. Say what you were about, you about, about to say. say. What's, what's the K. Smith with the gift. It's not a game, y'all. The others are ballers of rhyming, but they ain't the same flow. It's not the same. It's not the same flow. Hey, that's all right. I like that. It ain't the same You got your bars? Yes. How you came in? Drafted by the Knicks, home games at the Garden. Patino looked at me and said, Jack, you're starting up. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right this sounds about. good. Y'all both sound like y'all have some heat. Y'all both sound like I have some heat. All right, all right. 18. I had 16 bars. I had, he had 14. No, don't do that. Don't do that. He was quick in and out. Don't do that. Rap, pop, rap, rap pop one. All right, man. man before, that, man. before we wrap, let's give a shout out to our sponsors, Underdog Fantasy. <laughs> Click the link in the description below and play the Pick'em game. That's one of our favorites. Uh, use the promo code MARK and then matching up to $100 on your deposit. We appreciate y'all, man.